Hey everybody, it's Andy here from Wheel Around Gaming, coming at you with, I guess, some new stuff. So this is a rant video, com accompanied by Call of Duty. Yeah, I I've been playing Call of Duty lately, it's pretty fun. I've had the game since, like, December. I don't have Ghost yet, so tell me what you think about the Call of Duty video. The gameplay is not the best, but I just wanted something to accompany this rant, so you're not just looking at a YouTube logo, slowly switching into a Google Plus logo, because... I was going to do that, but then I decided to do Call of Duty over it. So anyways, let's get to the point. So unless you live under a rock, you would know that Google has implemented a new comment system that was, the giant goal of it was to get rid of the troll comments, meaning people who post obscenities, just random obscenities on videos, or say first, which, whatever, that's, that's dumb, but I don't care. It's it's a comment. And then the people who are just racist and mean, flat out mean to other people. Well, that has completely backfired on them. I don't know if you guys have seen the comments. I don't of big YouTube videos, but there, all there is is fallacies, and I don't look don't look that up if you don't know what it is because. You probably know what it is. You just don't know you know what it is. Phalluses, Nazi memorabilia, obscenities about Google+. You name it. There's screamers. I've, fell, I've fall for, fallen for about two of those. And there's everything. Now, I don't like Google+. I, I like the idea of Google+. Plus. I like the circle idea. It's nice. But the circle idea only works when there's more than two groups of people on Google+. Plus. Right now, all we have is hipsters and the tech community. Oh, and there's a third one. They're arrogant Google users. Yes, I haven't even touched upon that yet. There's three groups. You need... You need family and friends and colleagues to make circles. Well, there's no one on there to use the Google, the circle thing. There's no one on there. But isn't that the point of this new comment system to get G+. No, it has made people hate Google Plus even more. Now, let's be honest here. A lot of com YouTube people are just throwing shots at Google Plus. They have never tried it. Now, I have tried it at least three times i have tried to use it i don't like it it just it's not user friendly facebook i under facebook and twitter i understood almost instantly i did not have to look up youtube videos to figure out how to do things it, google plus is not user friendly and in case you haven't figured out it's a giant giant scam to get your information they ask for your address your interest your hobbies hell they even ask you for your fucking phone number excuse my language but i i'm so passionate about this they ask you for your phone number and your interest and where you work and they want to know everything about you now does that does that does that not scream spy nsa government all over it I know it's a conspiracy theory, but I guarantee you, they're selling that information to somebody. They're selling your phone number to people. They're selling your interest, where you went to school. They're selling you out, and you're acting like they're just a giant friend to you. No, they're not. Now, the number one thing that grinds my gears about... Google Plus, this new Google Plus integration on YouTube is a thing I like to call Google oppression. And the people at Google are pretty smart, as you know. And I guarantee you they thought this out. I like to call this Google oppression. Now, as you know, there's this new thing called the top comment system. And right now, how they do it is pretty much whoever has the most Google Plus followers shows up on the top comments and of course the video uploader shows up too now the people with the most youtube or google plus followers are the people who like google plus like all 100 of them so only their opinions show up on the top so google doesn't see the people like me who hate it with a passion of a burning a thousand burning suns 
and they think we like it. They think we like it because they only see the comments of the people, the pro G plusers who have been on there for years. They're either a hipster, a tech, or an arrogant Google user. Now, they're the only comments to show up, so they think we like it. I, I, I swear to you, they think we like it. I'm not kidding you, despite the thousands of petitions out there, the the phalluses and the F Google pluses in the comments and the Nazism. Now, that does not make sense to me. It's just, it's frustrating. Now, like, what you can do to fix this, there's many, many petitions. I'm going to link one in the in the description. You can send messages to the Google developers on Google+. Plus. Yes, you open up your Google Plus account one last time and send messages to the Google Plus developers. I've done that a couple times. I haven't gotten an answer yet. I'm not expecting the answer, but I just want our presence to be known because they think we like it. They think we want Google Plus when if we wanted a Google Plus, we would have used it. We would have got one already. I had a Google Plus. It sucks. It's hard to use. I'm a teenager and I can't figure, I'm pretty tech savvy and I can't figure out how to use it. I did not have to look up videos to, on how to use Twitter or, or Facebook. It's, it's a horrible concept. Horrible, horrible presentation. It's a good idea. The circle thing is a good idea. But it's a horrible concept. Horrible presentation is what I'm trying to say. So, the thing I'd like to add that you can do to stop this is you can switch your browser to Firefox and then switch your default search engine to Bing. Bing, believe it or not, not that bad. Firefox, believe it or not, not that bad. That's what I've done. I've deleted Google Chrome off my... Off my mobile devices and my computer and I'm now using Safari and Firefox so thank you so much for watching and as always deuces long live Twitter